Good morning children, happy Friday. We've made it to the end of a very long week. We have loved seeing all the work you've done this week uploaded on School Spider. Well done to the children who've been sending us pictures of what they've been doing. So here are your learning activities for today. In our maths lesson, we've spent the week looking at both addition and subtraction. So our focus for today is what we call the inverse. So it's learning about how addition is the opposite of subtraction and subtraction is the opposite of addition. And if we have an addition number sentence, we can play around with it and we can turn it into a subtraction number sentence by moving the numbers around and changing the operation. So the work you're going to do today will be all about that using the inverse for addition and subtraction. In your English today it is our edit and improve lesson so when we come to the end of a unit of work and we've created our final piece of work this is the point where we go back over what we've written and we try to improve it we make sure that our grammar is correct in all of our sentences we make sure that we've used as many different adjectives as we can one of the things I'd really like you to try to do is to read back over what you've written and see if you can vary your sentence openers so if you've started your sentence in the same way each time in your piece of descriptive writing, then have a little look over what you've written and see if you can change some of the ways you start your sentence. So instead of writing, I can smell, I could taste, I could see, think about how you could change that. You could write something like, as I tiptoed down the street, I saw, or when I came around the corner, I could hear, or in the distance I could see. So try and add some different sentence openers to your writing in order to improve it and then write up your final piece and draw a picture to go with it. And this afternoon's lesson is art and design. So we're carrying on with our work on African art and today we've got a PowerPoint for you to look at which gives you lots and lots of examples of African patterns. So I want you to look at the types of colours that are used and particularly about the patterns. They use an awful lot of shapes in repeated patterns. So have a little go at trying out some of these patterns for yourself. And then you're going to be doing a weaving activity. So I've put a video on to show you exactly what to do. It talks you step by step through the weaving process. So we want you to decorate your weaving strips with African patterns and then have a go at creating your own weave with paper. So I hope you enjoy getting on with those activities today, children. Don't forget, anything you've done, take a little photo and upload it to School Spider so we can see it. I hope you have a lovely weekend and I'll see you on Monday. And a very happy birthday to Lily Rose for tomorrow. Bye.